Hi friends, happy Monday to you. I hope you all had a wonderful Father's Day celebration. Um, today I'm going to be playing um, Children of the Heavenly Father. This traditional hymn was written by a woman named Caroline V. Sandell Berg. Growing up, most people knew Caroline as Lina. She was a member of a very pietist wing of Swedish Lutherans. Throughout her years growing up, she grew to be very close with her father, who was a minister. Her father was adamant about Lina growing up with um, education far beyond what was typically expected out of woman in that given, in that given time. Lina began writing pro poems early in her life when she would write for Sunday school classes. Over her short time, Lina is said to have written over 1,700 different texts. Her most famous text, however, is still Children of the Heavenly Father. There are two different takes on when this hymn was actually written, but between many different sources, it was about 50-50 for which story was actually true. The first story was that Lina was such a daddy's girl that she wrote the hymn to honor her father and to say thank you for, to him for raising her and protecting her. The second story presents a potentially accurate take on when the hymn was written as well, but it does take a bit of a darker tone. When Lina was at the age of 26, her life quickly became filled with adversity. Her year started off with a few of her distant relatives falling ill to numerous different diseases and eventually passing away. Still, none of those deaths would shake her foundation nearly as much as the death of her father did. Lina and her father were said to have been on a boat when the boat suddenly lurched forward, caught because of a wave throwing her father overboard. Before anyone was able to lead a rescue out to her father, it was too late. It was said that the profound effect that watching her father drown was what caused Lina to write the text to this hymn. Regardless of how the text came about, it wasn't until 1925 that the text was actually translated from the original Swedish into the Engl English Lutheran version by a man named Ernest W. Olson. Children of the Heavenly Father safely in his bosom gather Nestling bird nor starring heaven, such a refuge air was given.